In this video, I am going to discuss how to find out the future value of superannuation scheme. So, superannuation is an organizational pension program created by a company for the benefit of its employees. So, in this scheme, the organizations deposit you know, uh, an equal uh, amount at the end of every month or at the end of every year or at the beginning of every month or at the beginning of every year. Right. So based on this, let us see how to find out the future value of the superannuation. So as you said, generally the students will come across two cases. The case one is that, case one is that the deposits at the end of every month or at the end of every year. So I am taking here at the end of every month. Okay, so the second case is that the deposits at the end, at the beginning of every month, right? So let us take this for case one first. That is, the deposits at the end of every month, and let us say that you know x is the deposit, the amount of deposit. Okay. So the amount deposited uh, at the end of every month is X and I is the rate of interest, rate of interest per month, rate of interest per month N is number of months And let us take the case that where the interest is compounded monthly. Interest is compounded monthly. So let us take this case and try to find out what the future value. So for that, uh, let me take a line here which represents the number of months. The line that represents the number of months. So this is O. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, up to n months, let us say. Right? So, at the end of every month, the amount deposited is x. Right? x is deposited at the end of every month. So, let us say that a1 is the amount at the end of uh, month 1, and a2 is the amount credited at the end of second month. This is just amounts credited. At the end of every month and this is a3 and so on a n is the amount created at the end of the nth month so what is the amount credited at the end of first month that is x right so what is the amount credited at the end of the second month so x is deposited by the company or organization and we will get the interest on first month deposit because it is compounded monthly the interest is compounded monthly so this interest also will be credited to the account so that we will have x plus and interest for the first month i into a1 okay so i into a1 is nothing but i into x so that where x is uh, where a1 is x into a2 is x into a plus 1. Now let us see the what about third. For the third month, so x is deposited by the company and here a1, a2 or the deposits happened the previous two months, right? So at the end of third month also, you know, the interest on a1 will be credited and interest on a2 also will be credited. That is interest on a1 plus interest on a2 will be credited to the account. So this is x plus i x plus i into x into i plus 1, right? This is the total amount credited at the end of the third month, just the amount credited, okay? So what is this amount? We are taking 1 plus i plus i square plus i. So I can write as x into i plus 1 whole square. This is the amount credited at the end of the third month. Okay, 
and uh, if you take the a4 we'll see that x into a plus 1 whole cube and up to the nth month it would be x into i plus 1 into n minus 1 at the end month the amount credited to the account is x into i plus 1 into n minus 1 now the sum of all these terms right the amounts credited at end of each month when you add all these amounts we'll get the future value at the nth month so the future value here is nothing but future value is sum of all the terms so let us write it as sn so isn't it that it forms a geometric series x into i plus 1 then x into i plus 1 whole square x into i plus 1 uh, n minus 1 right so can i write it as x plus x into i plus 1 plus x into i plus 1 whole square and so on x into i plus 1 whole to the power n minus 1 so this is the future value so it forms a geometric series right where the first term is x and the common ratio is i plus 1 we know that when the first term is x uh, when the first term is a and the common ratio is r sn is a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1 so let us substitute here a value a value is a x r is i plus 1 or to the power n minus 1 by i plus 1 minus 1 that is sum of all these terms is equal to x into i plus 1 or to the power n minus 1 by i which is equal to future value in this scheme which is the future value in this scheme right so this is what you get when you come across a problem where you see the deposits at the end of every month then what happens if the deposits happen at the beginning of every month so at the beginning of every month in that case let me see that case 2 that at the beginning of every month the deposits in the beginning of every month so let's see what you get so if it is the case at the beginning of every month so let's say that this is 0 1 2 3 right we go up to right uh, nth month but uh, you know uh, generally we'll see that the term right actually this is the nth month end of the nth month end of nth month is this but we'll see that you know the deposits happen from here a1 a2 a3 a4 right and this is an right the deposits uh, happen at the beginning of every month so that a1 starts from 0 right i mean just beginning of the first month and a and is the amount deposited at the beginning of the nth month so just we know that a1 is nothing but uh, you know x is the amount and x into 1 plus i is the amount and so on this will be x into 1 plus i whole to the power n minus 1 right so it forms a geometric series and we know uh, the total uh, the you know the sum of the series we have calculated just now in the case one and what about this gap right this amount we'll see at the beginning of uh, nth month so what about uh, at the end of nth month so at the beginning of nth month we see that sn is the amount right so when you try to calculate future value we will have sn is the total amount that we see just beginning of the nth month and when you come to the end of the month nth month you will get some interest on it right some interest on the total amount that we see at the beginning of the month so that is the i into sn is the interest that we gain you know by end of month right so this is nothing but sn into 1 plus 
i what is s n so x into i plus 1 whole to the power n minus 1 so this is nothing but x into i plus 1 whole to the power n minus 1 by i into 1 plus i right so this is the future value so can i write it here again so this is the amount is nothing but future value is equal to x into i plus 1 whole to the power n minus 1 right whole divided by i into 1 plus i maybe you can write here so this is the future value if the deposit happen at the beginning of every month that's it so the other two cases we see for you know the problems based on superannuation right i hope it is clear so now let us see a problem here so charles plans to invest in a retirement plan for 30 years in this plan he will deposit thousand british pounds at the beginning of each month so it's the case two right at the beginning of each month receives 6.5 percent interest rate per annum compounded monthly right so compounded monthly means so the a is thousand or maybe in other words x is thousand so what I have taken so far the x is thousand and then interest interest is monthly interest monthly interest will have 6.5 by 12 percent or 6.5 by 1200 this is what we get monthly interest so it is compounded monthly and uh, number of months so it is for 30 years 30 into 12 360 months so the other values we need to substitute in future value to get the answer so what is the future value x into i plus what is x thousand into i is 6.5 by 1200 plus 1 whole to the power so n is 360 minus 1 into 6.5 by 1200 plus 1 by i that is 6.5 by 1200 right that is what we see so this value is the future value in this case right so the future value of this investment is now one zero zero one eight six dpp to the nearest power right i hope it is clear very simple yeah so at the beginning of april month maggie invests 150 dollar in account that pays six percent annual rate of interest how much money will be there in the account after six years right so the same formula you can use here so you know when you look at uh, investment x is 150 dollars right and the rate of interest per month is 6 by 12 percent or uh, 6 by uh, 12 into 100 that is uh, 12 into 100 you can write as you know 1 by 200 right that is i and uh, after six years so the number of uh, years so here it is not given uh, whether the amount is compounded monthly or not but you know uh, these problems always come with you know based on the frequency of deposits okay the amount the interest compounded based on frequency of the deposits so the frequency of the deposits is monthly so that um, it is also compounded monthly but they mentioned generally okay it has to be mentioned okay that is assume that it is also compounded monthly so that 6 into 12 which is equal to 72 months right that's it the future value is x into so this is 1 by 200 plus 1 whole to the power 72 right 1 plus or minus 1 and um, again 1 by 200 plus 1 right so 
so whole divided by 1 by 200 so this will give you the future value and this value will be equal to approximately 13026 dollars right it's clear because this problem can be done other way also for example uh, the same amount if you take you know if you see that whatever the amount you know it is deposited uh, at the beginning of the month that will get the total uh, interest from for uh, 72 months and the second uh, investment that is uh, which is deposited at the beginning of the second month that will get only the interest for 71 months right so we can solve it in the in that way also if you take some of uh, all the terms so the first one will get the total amount as one plus you know whatever this one by 200 all to the power 72 months that is the total interest will get for 150 and then for next you will get one plus two one by 200 all to the power 71 plus and so on right so by using this formula also you'll be able to get it right yeah comment this four thousand dollars is invested to superannuation account uh, at the start of each year the account adds eight percent interest per annum compounded annually find the value of the account after 20 years right so here the amount is compounded annually right it is compounded annually so with eight percent interest per annum and four thousand dollars is invested into the account at the start of each year right again the same formula right the at the start of each year it is four thousand dollars and i is interest now here we have to take eight percent only because we are calculated for you know yearly compounded right annually compounded so that this is 0 0.08 right the number of years is 20 so now everything is for annual calculations annual interest annual compounded and for 20 years right so now the future value is after 20 years it is 4000 into 9 so what do you have 1 by 200 plus sorry this is 0 0.08 1.08 whole to the power 20 minus 1 by into so 1 plus 0 0.08 by 0 0.08 this will give you the future value of this problem so when you come across angles let us see that the compare investments of $500 at the beginning and end of the year 8% annum for 20 years. More or less similar problem, right? But here we have two cases, the beginning and uh, ending. Case 1, let's say. So in case of case 1, so at the end of um, each year, the future value is equal to. So let's say that X is $500 here. And I is 8% per annum, so that, that will be equal to 0 0.08, and the number of years is 20. That is the problem is over. 500 into 1 plus 0 0.08 whole to the power 20 minus 1 by 0 0.08. So this is the future value in the first case. What is the first case? At the end of year. End of year is the first case. Let's see that case 2, where you know beginning of year. If the deposits happen or investment is at the beginning of the year then future value is so 500 into so just uh, it's 1 plus 0 0.08 times the above value okay 0 0.08 whole to the 20 minus 1 by 0 0.008 0 0.08 into 1 plus 0 0.08 so this value will be approximately $22,881 and this value will be $24,712 I hope it makes sense okay so stay with the channel for more videos like this thank you